the best YouTube comments I found listening to Fear Inoculum was one that said, The songs have already been written. That those notes and words have been sitting for an eternity, waiting for someone to play them. I can't go back and find it now, but that idea has been in my head for years. Josh Homme of Queens of the Stone Age talked about that, praying to the altar of music, hoping that magic returns. I don't think anyone has prayed harder for the last 13 years than Tool. Every album is a time capsule, a snapshot of the men and women in that room, writing the words weave between lines of fiction and reality to tell a story. Each song is a lesson. I don't think it's a coincidence that I had my first panic attack a few weeks ago, overcome by my own fear, my own weakness. Both are ever-growing despite my attempts to keep them buried under distractions. In art, it doesn't matter how long it takes to open your mouth. You don't stop working on it until the words mean something. Art is suffered for. You break yourself down. Movements, voices, noises on a record, paint on the walls, words on a page, rebuild you. The achievement exists, no matter who's watching. These songs are what I needed now. I don't think they would have meant as much if the album arrived sooner. Just the same, these songs break down and rebuild. This is how the band writes. Each is a small journey in tight circles. The instruments march in step, break into dance, the guitar, bass, and drums grind and dig holes into the ground and then fire like machine guns. People have already said that it took too long to come back, that it was not worth the wait. Time is everything. At a certain point, you feel the age in your hands. You feel the weight of the bones in your body. I see it in the rings underneath my eyes. The body is a ticking clock. Such a constant reminder of passing and losing time. So much effort placed in the breaking off a piece of yourself to be wrapped and sold to a ravenous public, and myself included. After all these carefully glued together songs, in short breaks of noise and decompression, and the final echoes of a 15-minute storm decay. There is mocking beat, small ambient beats with distorted chirping, which give way to the sounds of an open window, and birds, as if the band is telling you, okay, you finally got what you wanted. Now go put your phone down, go outside, and get something done. And you get these fucks on the internet that agree with people like that you just don't you don't get it you don't get it you are the kind of people that make trap music popular you don't understand beautiful music imagery sonic perfection I don't know I don't know. I don't know what your problem is. You can never be happy. You're like, Tool's coming out with a new album, and you're like, this album's boring. I don't know 
what anybody could do to please you. This year's been amazing with music. Amazing. You get Periphery dropping a new album, Rammstein dropping a new album, Tool dropping a new album. And when Tool finally drops the new album, this opus, Fear Inoculum, you're like, nah, I don't like that. What I'm going to need you to do, I'm going to need you to go back and listen to, you know, whatever it is you're listening to. Go listen to some Blood on the Dance Floor or whatever you're listening to. But leave Fear Inoculum alone. The album's amazing. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10.